There are 10 key points to look for when evaluating the reach of a test animal. While the test subjects may vary in their particular reaching style, these 10 elements remain constant for control animals. The 10 points are digits to midline of body, digits semi-flexed, elbow to midline, advance, digits extend, arpeggio, grasp, supination 1, supination 2, and release. These 10 elements are graded on a 3-point scale. Normal movement in the test animal will score 0, while an absence of the movement will score 1. If the movement is present but slightly impaired, a score of 0.5 may be awarded. A reach will be preceded by a sniff to detect the presence of a food pellet. A properly trained animal should not reach if a pellet is not detected. In digits to midline, the test animal will raise its paw off the floor and advance it to the midline of its own body. Digit semi-flexed involves the animal relaxing its paw into a supinated and semi-flexed position. Elbow to midline involves the animal bringing the elbow of the reaching limb into the midline of its own body. The advance involves the extension of the arm through the reaching slot, accompanied by a raising of the head to make room for the paw. Digits extend consists of the digits extending forward at the end of the advance. The arpeggio involves a pronation and opening of the animal's paw. The paw touches the shelf from digit 5 through 2 so that the paw covers the food pellet. The grasp involves a closing of the digits around the food pellet, along with a lift at the end of the closing action. Supination 1 begins as the paw is withdrawn. The paw faces medially as it is withdrawn through the reaching slot.
Supination two occurs after the paw has been withdrawn from the reaching slot. The palm is rotated upward, exposing the food pellet to the animal's mouth. Release involves the digits opening to allow the pellet to be eaten. A control animal uses the contralateral to reaching forepaw and its contralateral hindpaw to support and move weight during a reach.